Hi boys and girls, let's pray. God, please bless us for this service. Uh, uh, to finish this service, please bless us so we can... And please thanks the teachers and the schools and the boys and girls where they dance. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. Welcome to the service. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the time that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the time, this is the time that the Lord has made. This is the friend, this is the friend that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the friend that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the friend, this is the friend that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. Shadi, mm -hmm. you should have been keen to look at it. Mm -hmm. Reminds me what our Sunday school teacher mm -hmm. was telling us in church about looking up. What, Shelly? Looking up to what? I remember. Mm -hmm. It's about looking up to Jesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just like we had been keen to look up at the aeroplane, mm -hmm. Shadi did not look. And you know, yeah. by mm -hmm. looking up to Jesus, mm -hmm. we are putting our faith in God's word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, when we do what God wants us to do mm -hmm. always. Oh, Sam, now I feel bad. Mm -hmm. I didn't keep my eyes on the airplane. 
but I will always make sure mm -hmm. I do mm -hmm. what God has commanded me to do. That way, mm -hmm. my eyes will always be on Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that another aeroplane? <laughs> no, that's oh, the sound yeah. of a bike. That's a motorbike. Uh, hey, hmm. let's run and see. Okay. Let's run. I want to see it. Bye, boys and girls. Bye. 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 Good morning, boys and girls. It's Sunday again. Time to listen to God's word. Are you ready? Awesome. Thank you, Charlie and group. We will really enjoyed your story. And boys and girls, today, we have a new lesson, but before that, can we pray so that we can start together? Yeah, yeah, put your hands together. Okay, dear God, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for giving us another day to listen to your word. We pray for understanding, oh Jehovah God, and above all, help us to do your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. How many people were here last Sunday? What did we learn? What was the story? And what was the memory verse? Thank you for remembering. And we are so happy as teachers to see your lovely, lovely, lovely work. Can we have a look at some of the work? For your beautiful work. Today we have a new lesson and the lesson of the day is fixing our eyes on Jesus. Can you say that? Fixing our eyes on Jesus. Can I see your eyes? Try and fix them unto Jesus. Yes. Fixing, unto, uh, fixing our eyes unto Jesus means that we should trust and believe in God. Every time, in every situation, when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're afraid, always remember to trust or believe in Jesus. Okay? When you fix your eyes in Jesus, it means that you're asking Jesus for help anytime. All right? So today we have a story. And since we are doing the series of the miracle of Jesus, today we have a new miracle. And this miracle is about Jesus walking on water. Can you say Jesus walked on water? Yes. And the story comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 22. So do you have your Bibles? Yes. So the Bible says in the book of Matthew that Jesus and disciples were together. And when Jesus had finished teaching and healing the sick, and feeding the hungry, Jesus told his disciples to cross the sea. And that, they leave Jesus behind. So Jesus was to catch up with them later. So Jesus went to pray. And the disciples had to go and leave Jesus. So this is our Jesus. Jesus telling his disciples to cross the lake or the sea. All right? Yes, so this is Jesus. and. 
the disciples are here. They were told to cross. And they crossed and they went. They went on the boat, 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 on the boat. And here they are on the boat. And the boat went and went and went and went and went. And they were sailing. And the boat went and went and went. And by the time Jesus finished praying, this is Jesus, yeah, remember? He told the disciples to leave and leave him behind. So by the time Jesus had finished praying, the boat has go, had gone far away. <gasps> and Jesus was to go and meet his disciples. So Jesus decided to walk to them. So this is Jesus. Remember the stories about Jesus walking on water? So Jesus walked on water. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip. <gasps> and when Jesus was walking on water, the disciples saw him from afar. <gasps> And they didn't know that it was Jesus. <gasps> they were so scared. They even thought that it was a ghost. <gasps> they were so terrified. But Jesus told them, Hey, my friends, don't be afraid. It is I. It is Jesus. Then Peter said, Lord, is that you? If it is really you, ask me to come to you. And Jesus said, Peter, come, come, you can come. And Peter left the boat. And Peter was fixing his eyes on Jesus. So Peter believed that he could walk on water just like Jesus. Remember when we believe in Jesus, we're able to do anything and everything. So Peter started walking to Jesus. But because the wind was so strong, there were so many waves and the waves were strong. And Peter got so scared. And because Peter got scared, he stopped fixing his eyes onto Jesus. And Peter started sinking, going deep in the water, sinking, sinking. And Peter was so scared. He thought that he was going to drown. He started crying, Jesus, Jesus, help me, help. And Jesus immediately reached out unto Peter and grabbed Peter's hand. And Peter came up. And Peter again started walking on water. And do you know what? Jesus told Peter, you of little faith, why did you doubt? <gasps> and Jesus and Peter went to the boat together. And all the other disciples who were with Peter all said that truly Jesus is the son of God. Now, boys and girls, why do you think Peter sank. Peter sank because he stopped fixing his eyes on Jesus. He stopped believing. He started to doubt. When you doubt Jesus, bad things can happen to you. So we need to always remember that when we fix our eyes on Jesus, Jesus has the power to keep us safe just the way he saved Peter from sinking. All right? So how do we fix our eyes on Jesus? We fix our eyes on Jesus by reading the Bible and obeying what God says. And what does God say? That we should always believe in him. We should always trust that he has the power to save us no matter the situation no matter the circumstance, okay? Never doubt Jesus. Never doubt the word of God, all right? So anytime you feel like you're doubting or you feel like you're not believing anymore, just remember the word of God and pray so that God can give you the courage to walk on water just like Peter did. Can I tell you what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid of water. But every time I go for swimming, I ask Jesus to give me the strength. I always ask Jesus to give me the strength to be brave like Peter. All right? And boys and girls, did you know that you're able to fix your eyes better or more? Or you're able to believe more when you have Jesus 
in your heart. Okay? So right now, we need to ask Jesus to come into your heart so that we are able to believe in him more and more every day. Okay? So put your hands together. So if you don't have Jesus in your heart, put your hands together so that we can invite Jesus in our heart. And then you pray this prayer after me. All right? Ah, okay. Say, dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you because you have the power to save me. This day, oh God, I choose to be your friend. I ask you to come into my heart so that I can be your child. I want to believe in you. I want to believe in your powers. I want to believe in your miracles. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So boys and girls, if you say that prayer, Jesus has come into your heart. So can we pray for the rest of the boys and girls so that we can also invite Jesus in their heart? Okay, let's pray one more time. Put your hands together. Okay. Dear God, thank you for the children, oh God. Thank you because you love them more than anything in this world. This morning, oh God, I commit all the boys and girls into your evil hands. I pray, oh Jehovah God, that you shall give them the power, oh God. You shall help them to believe that you alone can save them in every situation, oh Jehovah God. Thank you for their parents, oh Jehovah God. For, thank you for everything that they do, oh God. How I pray, oh Jehovah God, that you shall cover them with your blood. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. And now, on to our memory verse of the day. And our memory verse comes from the book of Hebrews. Can we all say Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1a to 2a. And it says, let us run with endurance. Let us run with endurance looking unto Jesus. One more time, let's say it together. Let us run with endurance, looking unto Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1a to 1a. Good. And to remind us what we have learned today is our class activity. And for our class activity, we need a white paper. So get a white paper, a plain white paper. And you also need a blue paper. Or if you don't have a blue paper, just get blue paint so that you can color or you can paint on your paper. So the blue color will represent the water. And then you can put some waves. You can put some zigzag lines to show how the waves are moving on the water. And then with your two feet, draw out your outline of your, of your feet and then you you stick them on your water. Okay? All right? And then remember to write the memory verse. And up there you can write walking on water to remind you that you can do anything and everything when you believe in Jesus. When you fix your eyes to Jesus. Is that all right, boys and girls? Yay! And now we have come to the end of our lesson. And I can't wait to see your beautiful work because I know you guys are awesome. Until next time, bye! See you next Sunday!
Into the darkness you shine 